And it all stems from the idea that we're here to solve problems for people. I tend to go for the underdog problems, the problems that have been ignored, the problems that really need to get addressed to help people. When the Ministry of Health came to us, uh, essentially they challenged us to develop a new device to diagnose sleep apnea at a lower cost and with greater accessibility to the population. By complete coincidence, they had another case on sleep apnea open at the Toronto Rehabilitation Institute. So when Jeff mentioned that to me on the phone, I said, I have experience in sleep medicine. I, I actually ran a sleep lab. Hisham was an acoustic engineer from Turkey. He was also a trained MD, a doctor, as well as a polysomnographic technician. So he had all three expertise. And he realized, as a polysomnographic technician, that we could diagnose sleep apnea simply by listening to breath sounds, and that's where the idea came from. Hisham seemed to be exactly the right person to do that, so we brought him on board. It was obvious to us that this was a real find. I think that the three of us were, were actually a perfect team. Jeff Fernie as a hands-on scientist with background in engineering. He's a man who, who wants to bring things out, bring things to the market, bring th things to the clinic. Doug Bradley is a scientist who is driven by results, who is driven by evidence, who is driven by papers and research. I'm a medical doctor and also a biomedical engineer. I have ideas, I would like to bring them out, and I would like also to substantiate this with evidence and with, with the results. Toronto Rehab had a culture that fosters innovation and knowledge translation. It's a very resourceful environment where you have everything in one place. You have the clinics, doctors and patients, and in, this, in the very same building, you have the workshops. We work together and we don't always agree, but there's a spirit that is, that, that is tangible here. We want to get things done.